Ve'aya ki sovo yelaretz. Ha'ya is always a lashon of simcha. That's the Gemara says in Megillah Daf Yud. What's the great simcha? So the Eor Chaim Hakodesh brings, and there's a medrash just like that in Psikta Zutaza. Ve'aya, language of simcha, because there is no simcha like coming to Eretz Yisrael. One who is zoyich to come here should realize, not to take it for granted. It's a place where Moshe and Aaron really, really wanted to come, but they weren't able to. Millions of people, thousands of generations, weren't able to come here. Thousands and thousands of years, people thought about this land, dreamt about it, and we are here. It's a tremendous chuz ve'aya kisav ve'la'aretz. Baba Basit Avkuf Nun Ches, Chazal say, Avira de'eret Yisrael machkim. The air in Eretz Yisrael makes one wiser. Is there enough kamina? Practical implication? Okay. I feel a little smarter than what I was yesterday when I was in Chutz Laaretz. Okay. Another practical implication of Vehaya Kisav Laaretz, the Avya, the air in Eretz makes you more easier. On top of what we said last year, last year we mentioned that even though Chazal say in Makos Dafyud and other places in Shas that one should not learn Toya by himself because he can forget his Toya, the Yaivitz and the Prime Palaji both say, this doesn't apply in Eretz soil. In Chutz Laaretz, you can lose your Toya. But in Eretz soil, it's balanced out by the fact that the air makes one wiser. It doesn't apply here. Fine. Anu nafkamina, a Chiddush. Practical implication of the fact that the air in Eretz soil makes one wiser. Shalat Sashuvah's harashbash. And this carries a lot of weight. We're going 600 years or so backwards in time. And he writes... If you look at the language of the Yerushalmi, it's very short, very abbreviated. The Bavli, shh. How many Dapim are in the Bavli? The Afyomi people, how many Dapim are in the Bavli? 2,000, 2,711, I think. Okay. Yerushalmi is much shorter. About 2,000 pages. The language of Yerushalmi is shorter. Because... Avir de Eretz Yisrael Machim, the air here makes one wiser, and there you can, therefore you can write in a very abbreviated style what you have to explain in many, many ways when you're in Chutz Laaretz. But if that's the case, so why do we pass in like the Bavli? We don't pass like the Ushalmi. You're saying the air here makes one wiser, so we should pass like the Ushalmi. How can we pass like the Bavli? Shalom to Jews, Chsam Soifer. Again, carries a lot of weight. Stop soifer. You're there. Simon Reish Lamed Gimel. He writes a letter to his Talmud. And he's writing there at the end of the Talmud. This is the words of the one who sits in a dark land. Where does the Chassam Soifer live? In Pushburg, in Hungary. <laughs> he's not in Eretz In a dark land. That's what he's calling it. Ara Chashucha. And therefore I speak words with a very Ruach Nemucha. And I speak in a very low type of a level because it's not Eretz Yisrael. Ve'ulai, and he writes, maybe. Lech she'yagiu hadvarim le'eretz nechoyna, when my words reach Eretz Yisrael, yis'alu ve'yiskadshu pishnayim bechokma uvetvuna uvedas uvechol melacha. Maybe my words will be double as important when they actually reach Eretz Yisrael. And then he writes, and that is how and that is why Talmud Bavli was raised to the level that it is because it was written in Babel. But then it reached the Eretz Yisrael and it became twice as important. That's what he writes. I have a clear raya to what he writes. Baba Basa, Ayin Heyamud Beis, I believe. The Gemara says, Chad Minayu, one of us sitting in Babel, Kisalik Lehasam, when we go to Eretz Yisrael, we are worth two. Shita Mikubetis explains why. In Bava, they used to learn with a lot of depth. And that's still not so much. They didn't need to. The air makes one wiser. They didn't need to. So when a guy from Bava comes to Eretz Yisrael, with his style of learning, with his in-depth, and now coupled with the air that makes one wiser, he's worth two of Eretz Yisrael. Maybe that's what Sam Sefer says. You send your words, says Sam Sefer about himself, to Eretz Yisrael, they're going to be double as important, double as wise. And that is why the Talmud Bavli... It's raised to that level that it is on top of the Talmud Yerushalmi Pilei Ploy. What does it mean to send the words? I guess his words, and one day they will reach here. Here, we're learning some Sefer even when we're in Israel. And then it does something. The air here changes the words and changes the wisdom. That's what happened to Talmud Bavli. Achidish.